This tutorial will demonstrate how to set up a DC brush motor connected to an analog amplifier with the use of the system setup software offered in the PowerPMAC IDE. To access the system setup software, click on Tools and then System Setup. The first step in commissioning a system is to set your clock frequencies. You should always set your clock frequencies such that you can successfully control the highest bandwidth motor in your system. Generally speaking, DC brush motors do not require very high server rates, but if you have something like a high bandwidth DC brushless motor, voice coil motor, or piezoelectric motor in your system, you should set the clocks based on those motors instead. For DC brush motors, the two main clock frequencies about which you need to be concerned are the servo rate and the phase rate. The servo rate is the rate at which PMAC computes the output of the servo control algorithm. The phase rate is the rate at which PMAC computes the output of the commutation algorithm and the current loop control algorithm. These algorithms are only for motors that PMAC is commutating. Generally speaking, DC brush motors do not require a very high servo rate, since they generally cannot achieve the higher bandwidths of which DC brushless motors are capable. Furthermore, the phase rate is not important specifically for DC brush motors because these motors commutate themselves. As such, there is no need for PMAC to commutate them, and therefore there is no need for a high phase rate if you're only using DC brush motors. For most applications, the default servo and phase clocks shown here are sufficient. If you expect higher servo rates, however, a good general rule of thumb is to choose a servo rate at least 10 times that of the desired closed loop bandwidth. For our training purposes, we will just leave the clocks at default. Click Accept on this screen, and then click on the Next arrow. The next screen that is displayed is the Hardware Diagnosis page. This page displays all of the accessories in your system and allows you to view various properties of the accessories. Like for example, checking raw encoder counts, checking flag statuses, checking the status of general I.O. points, and so forth. For now, just make sure all of the accessories in your system are displayed here under the hardware diagnosis tree. If any hardware is not displayed here, it probably means you either didn't plug the hardware in properly or you did not issue triple dollar triple star at the onset of the system setup process.